Hello YouTube, I'm back again with another video and today you are looking at my uh, Losey MTXL and I think today is the time I am going to install the aluminum FID Racing Center Diff Brake Housing It comes with Look at that, that thing is amazing. I love how this works. It looks like a real brake caliper. I love it. So we're gonna go ahead and try to install that today. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. So first things first, we'll take the body off. There is the plastic one right here. So the things I want to take off are, I'm going to take off the the brake uh, linkages right here, pull those completely out and set them down. And then we're going to go ahead and just start tearing things apart. I'm going to go ahead and get that started. Okay, so what I did was I took a, a 2 millimeter driver from DDM and I put it in here and I loosened that up and pulled these out another thing you guys have to watch these little grub screws are so small that if you back them up all the way they will fall out and then they're hard to see so that was the two millimeter and then I used the three millimeter driver and as you can tell right here that uh, my exhaust is pretty much in the way of getting that screw out well DDM had a deal today so I jumped on this it's the one with the ball okay and their hand grip tool so I already got most of it, most of the way out, as you can see right there. So now we're going to angle it and go ahead and get that out of there. You want to do that with the regular driver, uh, three millimeter driver, because um, the balls. You see how that goes at an angle. The balls will snap off if you started that when it was tight you put a little bit of torque on there you probably would snap it so that's why I highly recommend um, using the straight three millimeter to break out the screw give it a good couple turns and then use your ball ball wrench so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, take this cover off right here and uh, I'll be back okay as you can see right here I have the cover off and uh, I put all the screws in a brand new four inch uh, plate bowl whatever you want to call it, from Harbor Freight I just took it out of the package I tell you what, that is the best investment. And this month at Harbor Freight, you can get these bowls, I think, for like 60 some cents. So I bought two. Here's a big old bag of goodies that I got. Oh, yeah, they have, they're having one heck of a sale going on. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to take off this I wonder if I have to yeah it looks like I'll have to take the screws out to the whole thing here a couple things I wanted to show you look how flimsy this is okay that's what this is all plastic this is the reason why I wanted to go with all aluminum just because for strength see look at that that's nice and tight you can't even hardly move that wiggle it 
as you can with this that means there's this hole is kind of wore out and that's that's no good so I'm gonna go ahead and crawl underneath and get that these bolts out so I'm going to take you down underneath here I'm going to show you what this plate that I built you see the holes so you got to move it around and they, oh, there they are okay it is this one and this one right here and that and that one over there and that's also three millimeters so we're going to go ahead and take that out right now alrighty guys this is with this stand that I built it was sitting this low and I raised it up a good foot so I can crawl underneath there and get those four screws so what we're going to do now we got the four screws out. We're going to go ahead and lower this. I don't know if it's going to come crashing down. <laughs> there it goes. There you go. Perfect. So here it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove the whole center diff. There's the housing just fell right off. There's the plastic one. We'll set that over here and then come over here at this angle. See if I can move that up over. There we go. Here is the whole center diff. I made a video of this tearing it apart and putting this aluminum. Uh, let me get this up here. HR Racing aluminum diff cup right here I put that on a while back and I was always concerned about that grub screw right there it looks like everything is fine it didn't come out because if you screw that in all the way it'll fall out on the inside so you got to be careful of that so while I have this diff out I'm going to go ahead and and tighten all these screws to make sure everything's nice and tight so we're going to come back over here pull out the other part here and look at that pretty dirty i should clean up everything before i worked on it but we'll clean what we can so what we're going to do now is, is I'm just going to go ahead and go over this truck, make sure the clutch carrier housing is all nice and snug. And I'm going to just test out all the bolts just to make sure the ones are hard to reach when everything is in place. So let's get to it. All right, well, I have everything taken out and displayed here on the table saw. I want to show you what's going on here. I took the time and cleaned the aluminum diff cup right there. Clean that up fairly well. So she's nice and clean again for a little bit. Now, the comparison in my last video about the unboxing of these aluminum braces here I was worried about that bracket right there if it's not going to be tall enough well I'll come to find out by looking on the original there's the bracket right there that I could probably pluck off of there and put on there but it came with two of these so we're going to go ahead and install those on there. Then it'll be equal. As you can see, it'll be equal then. And then I test fitted the diff cup in there for the bearings. Want to make sure I didn't have to change those bearings. And you do not have to. They fit really nice in there. So 
that was a plus so there's the difference between the aluminum and the factory stock uh, center diff housing I mean you can see it's fairly it's plastic you know and plus this looks more cool looks like a brake calipers so versus that that's the old school stuff right there so now with the top of the factory you use this well we're not going to use that we're going to use the FID one that goes over top so I'm going to be using the hardware that came with the uh, aluminum thing here so we're going to install all that then another thing I wanted to show the difference between the brake disc now the brake discs are a lot thinner than the factory the factory is like almost twice as thick if we put two together yeah it's exactly two of these equal the thickness of one stock one so I don't know if that's going to be an issue or not but we're going to go ahead and install it we're going to save all the factory parts as always and uh, we'll clean them up later so now I wanted to show you one other thing remember I said to go ahead and clean up what you can get and tighten up all your your clutch housing bolts right there what I have here is a five millimeter little stubby that I used to get down onto the bottom right there and then I used um, a crescent wrench to lightly turn it and then I also did it right here which the gas tank is in the way but you can still get it with the ball just don't put a lot of torque on that ball like I said earlier it will snap the ball off so we're gonna go ahead and start installing this okay we are going to use the bottom bolts that held those on so remember a little bit of Loctite before you install the bolts <clears throat> any blue do not use the red the blue all right I have the stand up really high this time and I tightened up the bolts put the blue Loctite on there and go ahead and lower it back down slowly come on down there we go so now that's all done as you can see starting to look nice in there uh, I don't know if I should have put the uh, diff cup in first with those but I don't know if that dog bone right there is gonna give me a little bit of problems getting in but we'll find out but I do have the spacers in so that's good news if you guys remember that center uh, drive carrier or whatever you want to call it, this dog bone carrier um, it did not come with that spacer and I had it all bound up and yeah until I figured that out Hey, she's starting to look nice in there nice and clean dog bones waiting all right okay we're prepping the uh, center diff right now I got an old can of 301 oil I'm just gonna put a couple drops here on the bearing because we can we'll just do that real quick Spin it a couple times. Yeah, there we go. Just because we can. Doesn't hurt nothing. Flip it over. Do it again. Alright. 
light just a little bit then we'll go ahead and wiggle it around oh yeah she feels good all right let's install her all right it's all in place right now and uh yeah we got everything hooked up sitting in there but one thing i did notice was on this aluminum house the top housing the, the gear hits right there when it's screwed all the way down it hits they push it all the way down yeah she's hitting right there so I see the reason why he got rid of it because it needs some grinding done up there as you can see where it's hitting right there where the paint's taken off so it looks like I'll have to dremel that out so I can fit that down in there oh boy so yeah that's what you got to deal with you know the machining part I mean so far it looks really cool <laughs> in there so I cannot wait to finish this off but I'm gonna do a little bit of grinding and test fitting and all that stuff off camera so when I'm done I'll show you what I ended up with all right guys uh, yeah a lot of things happened <laughs> you know nothing goes right fits right and all that good stuff and now I know why the seller on eBay, after he bought it and put it on, it didn't fit. Okay. Let me explain. This is what I had to do. You're probably thinking, oh my God, he cut it. Okay. I tried thinning that out on the inside and it still wouldn't turn had a heck of a time used my Dremel and I used some good cutting wheels and I got that cut it's not the prettiest thing now but she's working alright so if FID would ever watch this video I highly doubt it uh, they got to do something different for the stock gear for that center diff okay they got to make this taller and then before you comment down below saying well you should have put a shim or something underneath well that would have been all great and all but you got to worry about these holes right here those holes if I would have put a shim underneath like a big thick gasket those holes would have been disappeared this whole thing would have lifted right up and past those holes and you need those holes for the brake levers here so that's the only way I could see happening I do not want to change this gear out to a smaller uh, amount of teeth on there I don't know if you can or not I never looked into it but I don't want to do that I just want to keep everything stock for the gear wise because I have no issues whatsoever with the gearing on this and for what I do with it that gear is perfectly fine so with all that said it still looks nice in there <laughs> being red and all now you don't see the FID because I cut it out so it'll fit so most likely the uh, low C DBXL wouldn't have a problem whatsoever probably with this so it's mostly made for the in my experience right now I think this was made for the low C DBXL only so 
that's why the uh, eBay seller sold it to me just to get rid of it for what money he can get out of it which is perfectly fine I probably would have done the same but I wouldn't have advertised it saying it fit off you know it fit a low C MTXL also but hey we live and learn so yeah <laughs> that's my dilemma man I tell you because now look at it she's turning good I couldn't even put the bolts in before I know I could have probably did a better cut job but when it's not on the truck and it's kind of high hard to eyeball that cut but hey it looks all right plus with the body on you won't see it so hopefully it's going to be strong enough right here holding everything together I mean so far so good it looks all right that that little bit of aluminum right there is what's holding these two pieces together oh boy so what I'm thinking in the future far in the future is I have JB Weld is probably put something over top of this whole thing to protect that gear some more thinking about getting another piece of aluminum and have a lightly curved piece the same length of that and just lay it on top if I can I don't know if I can and will it still turn oh yeah she still turns but you know something like that and maybe paint it red <laughs> I don't know it's a little upsetting but hey you know you live and you learn and again I am no expert on this as you could tell so please don't beat me up too bad in the comments that I should have done this or I should have returned it you can't return it when it's on eBay uh, then uh, I can hear in the comments say well you shouldn't buy stuff off of eBay and uh, I can just hear it now but hey I'm gonna use it I paid good money for it I'm gonna use it and eventually I will have something going over top of that and I have to think about that for a while and maybe my buddies can um, anodize it red for me or powder coat it red so it looks pretty neat you know oh we'll see well the last thing left to do is now is put the brake levers back into the holes and get that adjusted so let's do that now all right guys here we are we're at the final stage of it all I have the battery in I got the linkage somewhat in touch there it's it's not set yet because I haven't started the truck up so let's go ahead and start her up turn on the radio and we're gonna go ahead and turn on the truck she has a full battery for what she can be filled up so now I gotta turn this truck around a little bit there we go I have to use this to get up here uh oh alright so we'll go ahead and give her put the choke on give her three oh uh, prime the ball up get some prime in her there we go some thro uh, slow pulls oh she wanted to fire right there all right take it off choke and here we go
some more adjustments on the brake. But not too bad. Still looks, still looks all right. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.